Listen, this story is juicier than a ripe watermelon on a summer day. We're about to dive head first into some serious investigative action as we unravel all the exciting details about this brand new species that some clever scientists have stumbled upon. You want to talk about it? Let's get cryptic. All right, Monica, so check this out. A research vessel bobbing in and out of connects pulled up from the chilly waters, a 20-armed creature with a body shape like no other. We're talking about a brand new species. Now, scientists just weren't out there shooting the breeze. They were on their mission, traveling from the Southern Ocean on multiple expeditions between 2008 and 2017. What were they looking for, you ask? A group of cryptic. You see what I did right there? Cryptic, you gotta love it. Now, let's get back to the tea. A group of cryptic sea creatures known as Antarctic feather stars. These bad boys are no ordinary swimmers. They're huge, living anywhere from 65 to 6,500 feet underwater. And let me tell you, when they're gliding through the water, they've got a look that's out of this world. But don't confuse them with your run of the mill sea stars. Feather stars are in a league of their own. So during their underwater escapades, these researchers snagged eight feather stars that had a unique body shape. And guess what? They uncovered a whole new species. Let's give it up for the Antarctic strawberry feather star, or as scientists like to call it, Promatrocritus figarius. With a central body that's a strawberry-like and 20 arms branching out, this creature is a marvel. Now, Monica, don't fret. You know, I'm going to tell you about the details because this creature is a sight to behold. The Antarctic strawberry feather star has not one, but two types of appendages. Its lower shorter arms, they're almost like a fashion statement with stripes and bumps, while the upper longer arms are all about the feathered soft vibes. It's like a sea creature runway show down there. Oh, 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 and don't even get me started on a close-up. The lower body of this beauty is a rough triangle, wider at the top and tapering down to a rounded bottom. The texture, bumpy with a cute little circle-like indents, probably from arms that broke off during the sea shenanigans. You would think they were setting trends under the sea with their unique style. I'm just saying. Now the naming game. What's up with the name? Well, these scientists nailed it. They named this new discovery after the Latin word for strawberry. Why, you ask? Well, Monica is all about the body shape and its resemblance to a strawberry. Oh, 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 and wait, there's even more. The Antarctic strawberry feather star wasn't just chilling in one spot. It was found all over the Southern Ocean, hanging out at depths ranging from 215 to 3,840 feet. Talk about being a jet setter, and how did those experts figure out it was a whole new species? Well, Monica, let me tell you, it's the body shape and a little something I like to call DNA analysis magic. Shout out to the dream team that brought us this incredible discovery, Emily McLaughlin, Narita Wilson, and Greg Rouse. And Monica, they weren't stopping at just one. They documented not only the Antarctic strawberry feather star, but also three new species of Antarctic feather stars. These scientists are like the fashionistas of the sea world, discovering new looks left and right. All right, Monica, so there you have it. A whole new sea creature strutting its stuff in the Southern Ocean. Next time you're daydreaming about the mysteries of the deep, remember that an Arctic strawberry feather star and the amazing researchers who gave us this glimpse into the world. Now it's time to wrap up like a recyclable gift. Remember, just like taking care of our planet, it's important to take care of yourself too. So keep spreading those eco-friendly vibes, keep making those green choices, and be sure you like this video, share if you can, and follow the Cryptus page for no stories.